This is Star Talk. But your job now is much different than it was in the shuttle program, I think, because shuttle shuttle flights were two weeks long, and and you know you had a lot to do. You worried about crew safety, but now with these missions, you know, we mentioned in the other segment that you know you could be up there for as long as a year. Wow. Um, and uh, or maybe it was before we started the other segment, and somewhere. Yeah, in we were talking about. Yeah, you just you, brought somebody home after almost if, a year. After in a space. year, yeah. and it, and it's so it's not it's that's that's a whole different equation. So it's not just keeping them safe and uh, making sure the mission gets done, but it's also sort of the long-term mental well-being, keeping people engaged and happy and keeping the crew going. Um, morale is a, is, mm-hmm. a, is a big part of it, too. And uh, Emily, you were, the, you were the flight director for the tail end of Scott Kelly's year in space. Is that right? I was. I, got, I uh, was batting cleanup for that one. Uh, you're batting cleanup for that. All right, so... So you had the last, I guess, the last three months of that, right? Expedition 46? Yeah, about four Part months. So did, yeah. was, that, was that on your mind about trying to make sure his mental uh, health, uh, you, know, you know, that he is morale, that he kept going and trying to keep it light and fun for the whole team? What, was, that, was that part of it for you or what, what, how did you approach it? It was certainly a concern. It's something that Scott and I talked about before he launched, you know, a whole year in advance. His goal was for Scott Stover, his flight director when he launched, and myself to be able to compare notes after he got back on the ground and not be able to tell a difference, that we would have been working with the same crew member. And Mm -hmm. honestly, Scott is so even keeled and so unperturbable that (laughs) that was really the case. So Um, my personal strategy when I'm about to take over, because each of us, when we take over a lead for a mission, we're taking over for crew members that are already on board because it's just this continuous cycle of crew members. We never, ever have the space station without people living there. And so I will start sending them emails up front saying, hey, we're not going to change anything until I take over, but is there anything you'd like to tweak? What are you happy about? What would you like to do differently? Um, What is... Are there any things we can tweak about what the ground is providing for you to try and listen to their needs and make sure that we're providing them the ability to be as efficient as they possibly can? Because we get so much more work and more productivity out of people in space who are happy, just like we get more productivity out of people that are happy on the ground. Can you give us an example of any of those tweaks that they asked you to make, like without like compromising security? No, 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 no. Um, Let's see. I Scott actually didn't ask for any. Um, I don't think we've had. So we have this whole kind of giant system for how we manage the, the crew's day. They have we have this timeline that shows in five minute increments what they're going to be doing from the time they wake up until the time they go to sleep, and then the timeline tells them, okay, it's time to be asleep. And. Wow. Uh, <laughs> then in addition to that, we have a list of activities that if they finish something early. Here's a list of stuff. It's just kind of the honeydew list. We need these things done, but they're not as important, so we haven't put them on the timeline. The way that we manage that, there are a lot of nuances to, to if you can imagine somebody else is building your calendar every day, then you might think that you want your calendar managed one way, and then you start doing it for two months, and then say, you know, I really wish you would make, you would put my exercise in the morning, or I'd rather that we do these kinds of things together and we do these kinds of things alone. So a lot of what I tend to get is, hey, now that I've been here for two or three months, what I'd really like is to change my strategy for how you build my time and um, make it so that I can execute a little more efficiently through the day. And so at what point did um, Scott Kelly say to you, I want to wear my gorilla suit in the afternoon? <laughs> I want to oh. wear my... <laughs> I, and I, when I'm in that room, I tend to be a little bit buried and I tend to not necessarily know what's going on in the outside world. But that day I happened to be, I happened to get either emailed to me or tweeted or whatever, a link to the video that he had sent down. I had no idea ahead of time. And so the next thing I do is call Scott, where did you get a gorilla suit and how did you get that thing to space? So yeah, he managed to surprise us all with that one. So, so what happened was, tell us a little bit. We have a few more seconds before we go to the to the queries. You uh, did so. I saw this. This is a very famous video that went viral of the astronaut in a mm-hmm. gorilla suit, right? Like, yeah. So he he put on this gorilla suit and then he stuck himself inside <laughs> of a Mike, you'd know, an MO2 bag. It's basically mm-hmm. just a big white stowage bag that yes. you could fit a person in. 
So he's sitting there, and then poor Tim Peake comes along and starts to open up the bag, and he jumps out of it and starts chasing <laughs> Tim Peake all around the space station. And it, it was really hilarious. You should see the, the Colbert clip from what they did on their opening. I think that's where I saw the first, where I first saw wow. the, the whole gorilla thing in the first place. It was pretty adorable. Good fun, fun and games and space. It's hard work, but uh, you know what Emily said. I think is really important. It's it's fun. Mm -hmm. that, those things are fun, but it's also makes you more productive. Keep them yeah. keep morale happy. up and yeah. It's, it's so it's if you if it's all just drudgery work all the time, even in space, it can get to you. So it's important to keep keep it light as much as you can. <laughs>